This is by now a famous tree here, at least in Croatia. It's called Killa Nebari, and it's your guess why that is called that way. Uh, it, this is a good example of what can be done in a very short period of time. I think it was only maximum two years. Two, two, two years. This is the third season, so, so two years. We saw some stumps which are recently collected and are so ugly. And I told you that it is possible within a very short period of time to make a good tree. Okay, if this was possible in two years, imagine what will be possible in ten years. The crown will be like that, and will be totally filled, and this will we'll have a lot of very, very fine ramifications. <laughs> the wonderful thing with this species, it's Carpinus orientalis, by the way, is that it has so many shoots that you always can cut out more than 50% uh, and you can select the best ones. It's a, a bit like Chinese elk, only much better. Okay, well, what would I want to do with this? Well, I would like to have it, it's that simple. Uh, here you can see what, what happens with, with uh, big scars. You see here and here. Uh, on a photograph from far away, you will not even notice it because it gets the same color as the bark, uh, and, and that's it's by design. It's that way. However, going closer, you of course see that this is a wound here. Somebody did some fancy carving. Now, my advice is do nothing here. Just wait. Don't even protect it. Let nature do its course, let it rot, and, and then brush it, and then it will look okay. Here you have holes. <coughs> Don't try to fill them. I think it's nice to have holes here. This is an old tree, an old European tree. In Japan, we would try to close these holes. In Japan, this would be forbidden. Well, the whole tree would be worthless in Japan. In Europe, I think it's fabulous. This is one of the best uh, oriental hornbeams so far in development, but there is many, many more to come. This is, by the way, a small one. So we have like that. Okay. Of course, uh, this is the front, and I think it's about time could be even this spring if you wanted to put it in the in the right um, position. It will be problematic. I mean, there's a reason why this is planted in that part that way because the roots are here. Okay. So if this is your front, then uh, your, your pot will be like that, and this will be a problem. Okay. So you cut this off. Well, can you? Well, of course you can. Now look at how healthy this is, and this will not even blink if you cut off that root. Why did you not do it two years ago? Well, because at that uh, point in time the tree was probably weak. Okay, so the question what do we do with this tree today? The answer is, well, if we don't repot it, we do nothing. That's fine. That's an example of a tree after two years. Uh, and that is really hard to believe if you compare it to other species that we work in in Europe uh, because you will not, with no other species, you will get that far that quick. In the tropical part of the world, uh, they, they have it easier like we have with this species. There they can develop a tree in two to five years to, to show quality. We cannot accept with this Carpinus. Okay, this here, that's just playful. You know, we, we have a lot of these succulents. Uh, and again, this is forbidden in Japan. So what? Uh, this is just, well, a game. We, of course, you can pull them out and, and put them back in the garden. But in my garden, they're everywhere. They're like weeds. Okay.